Hello everybody, The Lost Joker here doing a little tutorial video on how to set up a Don't Starve Together dedicated server using the Don't Starve Together dedicated server tool on Steam. If you're anything like me, your sanity levels are at a bare minimum right now as there seems to be no modern updated tutorials, guides, or videos online on how to do this. That being said, I am not an expert and I slapped this together last night. So what I'm doing is showing you what I did to get my dedicated server working, which by the way, I don't even technically know if it is, but I did have confirmation that I had another player that was not on my own local network who was able to access the game and had a very good connection. So we're going to give this a shot here of me trying to explain this because it's a little complicated. Now, the first thing you need to do is get your cluster key, cluster key. Now. You're going to log in your Don't Starve Together uh, client, and you're going to click account. Now, I can't do that because if I click this button, you're going to see all my information. But I've already skipped ahead, and I've logged in and done all this stuff. And on the page, you're going to click games and go to game servers. Click that button. Once you're in there, there's going to be a link right here. I can't click it because if you see that link, you can mess with my stuff. So we're not doing that. But when you click this button, there's going to be a link there. That's going to be your cluster key. Hold on to that link. Copy it if you need to right now. Okay. Now, there's two step ones. That's step one and this is the other step one. Download and install the Don't Starve Together uh, dedicated server. So I'm on Steam. Don't start together dedicated server. You have to make sure you have selected tools, okay? And have everything available to see. And it'll be right under Don't Start Together. You just install that, boom, you're good. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, wait, that's right. All right, <clears throat> now, we're gonna go to the scripts folder. I'm gonna show you how to get here. This is in your Steam apps, but you can quickly get here right from that Steam page, right? Boom. Hold on. Oh my God, what am I doing? All right. You right click, dedicated server. You go to properties. You click on local files, browse. You can exit that out. Whoops. Well, that opens this right here. You click bin, scripts. There it is. Launch preconfigured servers dot bat. Now, when you do this, it's gonna, I'm going to do this right now. Okay. But it's not going to do the same thing for me that it does for, for you, because I already have everything set up. It's going to work. When you click this, you're going to see these two prompts, but it's going to say server failed and all that stuff, but it's going to create these two folders we need. So I'm going to show you how to get here. Don't worry. I know it's a lot. This is easy. This is real. It's a lot easier than you think. Go to your PC. Go to documents. Go to clay. Okay. Documents. Clay. There, this would not be here before, but now it is. Easy config. Overworld. Easy config caves. Open both folders. This is my caves. This is my overworld. This is my caves. Now, yours isn't going to look like this. Well, it will, it will look like that. But when you go into cluster one, this stuff ain't going to be here. It's going to look a little different. You go into master. This stuff ain't going to be here. Okay. We have to create these things. And I'm going to show you how to do these things. So. Let me just make sure. It's paused. It's running. So I'm going to close this out shut down C underscore shut down parentheses close parentheses like that C underscore shut down close parentheses C underscore shut down close parentheses okay we're good okay so <clears throat> first step that cluster token that was in your clay account we're gonna create a cluster token file you're gonna go to new you're going to right click, go new text document. Okay. You're going to open it up and you're going to paste whatever your code was. It's going to be pretty long, but just paste the code. That's all you need to paste is the code. 
and then well hold on, i'll show you you paste your code whatever it may be i don't know what it is you click save as and you title it clust cluster underscore token okay like that cluster underscore token all right i don't have to do it because mine's already in there but you get the gist and then you can delete there's going to be a new text document there you can just delete that it doesn't matter also, I'm like, I just did this, so I'm like, I'm, I hope I'm right about this. You're going to do that for both. One for the overworld cluster under cluster one, one for the caves folder under cluster one. Do the same thing for both, okay? So they have the same token. This is how they link, I assume. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what's crazy about this. Okay, here. Now, this is where it gets a little m -m 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 messy. All right, hold on. Let me make sure I'm giving you the right instructions also i want to give credit to people i will at the end this is not all just me this is multiple guides i'm following and putting together and i will give credit to those who i can at the end all right <clears throat> okay now we're going to add world gen override all right so here we go you're going to go master okay you're gonna do the same thing new text document all right Open it up, and you're going to have to cut. This is where it gets messy. And I'm going to provide for you all the links you need in the description of the video. For this one, it's going to be worldgenoverride.lua overworld here, right? Boom. We're going to open that up. You just copy and paste all this. Well, oh, not that. Just this. Okay. Okay. Copy that. Right? I'm gonna go back to this, paste it, save as, and it's gonna be my worldgenoverride.lua. I never put the .txt, but that just shows up anyway. It doesn't matter, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna cancel though, because I already have it, and I don't wanna mess anything up, and then you would delete that, and it would be there. Now, this is where it gets messy, because the guy, this is where my guide is going to differ from the guide I found that I'm going to quote the guy later. Um, he said to do the same thing in here, even a variation where it just says override for the caves. It didn't work for me. When I used that guide, what would happen is I would break open, this is actually pretty crazy, I would break open the caves entrance, and when I'd go down, it would just be another new world. So... As interesting as that is, I wanted caves. So in order to do that, we're going to do a different uh, thing. Instead of it being called World Gen Override, it's going to be called Level Data Override, okay? And that is also going to be right there, caves. You're going to do the same thing. F uh, uh, create a text document, copy and paste what's in here, okay? And this is, all, by the way, everything in here is the default. You can change these if you read them, you know what I mean? Branching, bunny men, uh, the, like branching, you could put less default. I don't know if it's less or most. You'd have to look up. I'll, 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 I'll make another video later of like adding mods or changing the world. This is a default world tutorial, all right, of how to do this. So we'll get into that at some other point. But yeah, level data override for caves. Okay, that's going to go in there under master right there. Make sure you save it as level data override.lua. Boom. All right, next up. There's options, we can go over that at some other point. I don't really know about that that much. There, you know, it's like where you could change like how many players there are and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, so we need to make, we need to create and configure cluster.ini and server.ini, these uh, uh, things that are not here. So uh, we're gonna start with cluster, yeah? cluster yes yeah, so you it's right here in my paste bin cluster to i and i overworld you you again create a te it's a text document it's the same thing but saving it as a dini dot i and i will make it save like that but this is the default thing and this is where you change stuff like instead of survival you know what i mean you can put endless max players 10 you can put six or eight or whatever you want uh pvp false you can put to true you know what i mean but this is default cluster name is the name of the server cluster description is the description okay so when you're looking at you know what i mean when you're looking at browse games cluster name would be the name that comes up on that list 
I just leave it a test so you can change it to whatever you want. You can change these things to, to you know, instead of social, you can put it to cooperative, all that stuff. So you copy that uh, and that's going to go cluster and I overworld. Make sure you, I, I like to keep my folders on the left and right side. So I'm like, this is my overworld folder. This is my underworld. This is my caves folder. So I know where I am always. Cluster to I and I would be under the cluster one folder in the cluster one folder, not in the master. Okay, you do the same thing. New, create text document, and then you copy and paste this. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing over here, but just make sure you don't do the same one. It's got to be the caves one. Copy and paste for caves. I understand you might be like, well, it's the same thing. It's not. This number changes. And don't mess with those numbers. I messed with those numbers and my shit got messed up. <laughs> so don't do that. All right. Now, moving on. You're going to do the same thing for the servers.ini folders, okay? That's under the next folder. That's under master. So you go to master, create new text document, copy and paste for overworld, server.ini, okay? This one's pretty short. Is master true? The caves one is going to be is master false because the master world is the top world. So server to iron uh, caves uh, false. See what I'm saying? So there you go. Copy and paste those both into each folder respectfully. Uh, there's cluster one. Okay. Server dot ini in both folders. Okay. And then, uh, I think you're good. Once you do those, you go back to this and we just relaunch this. You double click that. There's your servers. This is what they should look like now. And they should kind of look in sync. If they're not in sync or there's something wrong, if it's not like going at the same time like that, something might be wrong. Now, of course, my thing's not going to say test server. Mine is my name server. It's lost, blah, blah, blah. But what you want to do, see it says pause. That means it's running. Caves is connected. Okay. Ready in a U.S. lobby. All right, boom. So now I'm going to go here into my game client. Browse my games. Now... I have an issue with this. I don't know if it's me or it could be my, uh, it could be my ping. I mean, it could be my uh, router or something, but my ping is always question mark. So I have to search for my server, but my server is always a uh, really great connection. And people have connected to me and said, it's fine. I don't understand why it's all like that. I wish I could figure that one out. That's probably going to be another video. How to fix your ping thing. But uh, there you go, man. That's that's how to do a dedicated server real quick. I will leave the links for those full, those very necessary files you need. And I hope this helps someone because, man, I could not find shit about this anywhere for like so long. I was looking and uh, again, I just want to say I don't know if this is uh, the way to do it. This is a way I did it. Uh, thanks to here. you go. I want to thank, first of all, on Steam. Tonio and Ginger Cook, who are the authors of the How to Set Up Preconfigured Servers with Steam Tools. Although, I did have to change a few things, like that the caves thing. Remember, I was telling you before how I would break through, and it's a whole other world. If you follow that guide, you're gonna get that result. That's I had to figure out that uh, you use that updated caves thing because they changed this. They've updated the game since this, you know, thing came. This uh, guide came out, so I had to find that. I regrettably i cannot find the person i went through the forums all morning i cannot find the link to the where i found that last night like i seriously am boggled about it i wish i could give credit to the person who posted it but it's it absolutely fixed the situation um i feel terrible i can't give them credit right now because that i didn't come up with that but uh all right uh guys i hope that works for you and uh, if you guys can figure out things that I, I can't, you know, 
please uh, write in the comments. Or if you know how to do mods, I'll try and do mods next. We haven't done that yet. Uh, you know. And if you ever want to play with us, join the Discord. I'll leave a link to that too. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow The Lost Joker. That's me on Twitch and YouTube. And definitely tune in next time for another tutorial on some nonsense that's making me crazy. I only do these tutorial videos when I can't find a tutorial video for the thing I'm trying to do. And I haven't done many. And I just want to comment one other thing. It felt very familiar messing with .ini files because I used to do it all the time when I was young playing Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So it was, and it was, this is the only other time I ever did it. And I'm like, it's only the games I love that I start messing with the .ini files. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's definitely, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and Don't Start Together are definitely on my lifelong game, love of games, for sure. I can definitely admit that. All right, guys, have a good one. And I hope this helps.